okay i'm just going to do a state of the uk market uh update today we're just going to go through some through the uk uh listings i've got a custom list here gtrs lse shares for the uk pool i fish in it's virtually all uk shares it just eliminates a few of the european ones so first things first let's just see how many stocks are technically rising and i, I will do that by just saying it's rising over the, the past six months five months it's rising over the past 10 months and uh what i will do is just show you how many stocks this lit lit this uh data mining screen captures there's 300 and eight rising stocks. Three oh eight rising in the UK as I write this down over those periods. So we've got a long period and a short period. Next, what I will do is out of those rising stocks. Let's just let's just do some fundamental research here. Let's let's see which are actually should we just go for earnings per share? We've got forecast earnings per share, positive forecast earnings per share on stocks what are rising. So you can see it's this one year forward. Ah, you know, what should we say? Should we give it of one percent or more and just say 153 um eps forecast rising we've got to have some kind of threshold 153 in, in fact you know you could just say 163 they are rising only just though 163 we'll go with the exact number what about how many of these trending shares actually have forecast pre-tax profit? Let's have a look at that. One hundred and sixty-one PBT forecast. One hundred and sixty-one. I'll just run one of my own screens. What what I do here. I'll do how many of these stocks are actually accel accelerating on their forward uh, earnings per share number. It's this one here. 18 stocks of EPS acceleration. Just 18 stocks. In the whole market, there's more. But obviously these are actually technically rising as well. So how many did we say we're actually rising out of the whole UK market? 308 stocks are rising. And I've, I've put the whole UK market pool here in this screen. What about turnover acceleration? As we know, turnover acceleration turnover fuels growth uh, we've got 46 with turnover acceleration 46 I'm writing these down as a go AT being being in there Earnings per share, forecast growth, 106. So we've got 106 stocks actually have forecast growth. Run out of lines, EPS, forecast growth. 
I said forecast rising on the first one. I, I, I should have should have actually said actually have forecast earnings per share not rising. So forecast growth being rising. We've got I've already forgot the number. 106. 106. So just 106 stocks are technically technically got forecast rising earnings per share growth it's not many is it that's the state of the uk market at this point in time and um you know if stocks have got a reason to rise you know there will be stocks what are technically a bit beaten up but have just just jumped through got got those bad numbers behind them and, and they're now forecast you know forecast on on the you know the the actual uh, fundamentals of forecast better but i put a trend filter under these because you know positioning on stocks what are technically you know that the technicals have to confirm the fundamentals you know it's it's the the only way you can sort of put put, put a wrong area in the market you the stock has to be rising and you you know where you're wrong because if it falls back below that prey low or wherever you put your stock you know obviously you know the, the investors are not buying the fundamental case are they it's as simple as that you know it all start all the biggest winners will go through these screens all the biggest winners will you know go through the technical they have to go through the technical screens and the fundamental screens you know in the in the lottery of trying to catch some outliers you know those with the huge turnover accelerate you know the big turnover the acceleration in turnover it any of these these themes what we're looking at the moment be it the ai theme at some 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 time it's got to start making the company money hasn't it and um it will you know you will see it in the turnover in the forward numbers you know it will be backed up by guidance and it will give you you will build a case that way and um yeah i mean that is the state of the market it, it is beaten up if you just go through the 350 stocks i dropped the screens at weekend in fact i'll just bring them back over and um let me bring my market technicals over here we're down in you know the crickets to popcorn scale we're down right down on the lows here again um the 350 the FTSE 350 is 17 percent bullish trending bull only 7.7 percent of the FTSE 350 is trending now do you remember that you know it's it there's all the flight to quality where you know if you're dollar cost averaging, ignore what I say. But if you're trying to position in stocks because they've got big dividends, well, maybe listen to what I say. Because, you know, I do dollar cost average. I've been doing it since I was a kid. Um, I still dollar cost average my, my pension. But when it comes to actually taking positions in stocks for price accumulation, and, it, you know, a big dividend, that flight to quality... We, we had a tick i'll show you on the next screen it's easier for me to show and and this before we go to that you know emerging bull uh, emerging bull is here 9.7 percent of the market is emerging bull trending bull is 7.7 .7. that's how beat up the 350 stocks are um trend model is 53 percent bullish trend you know be it the longer term trend still falling on a lot of these markets, but price action we've had a good, good pop. So, so you know we we're up there on price action. We'd like it to be up there on trend as well. Um, US obviously US is quite bullish, but look at Europe. You know we're still down in the dumps. Large caps, yes, we know the story. You know the index trend model has been telling us this for a long time. Um, and uh, then 
small caps you know this is this is where you're going to get a lot of beta so what's happened is you know there's always a flight to quality you get money flows into those large caps and then the money is draining out of those large caps you can see it this is that flight this blue line here that flight to quality look at it drain this is the 350 for the 350 look at that money coming out of those stocks it's just a huge whipsaw in in those sort of um blue chip stocks so yeah just just thought i'd sort of point that out as well um we're, we're looking at the actual me mechanics of what's going on in the market here so the uk market is is just you know everyone's been saying well you know it's so depressed and i'm saying it myself as well the uk market is so depressed so you know there's got to be some good trends come out of this and there will be you know one day close to the next bull market we always say that we don't know if the bottom's in but we exist at the right hand edge what i'm riding is working at the moment if the market lets its pressure off the uk stocks and and especially off uk small cap growth it's really easy to find those growth leaders at the moment is what i'm getting across here as well we know what they are they're at the top of my gtrs it's really easy to find them but if the, if the pressure lifts off these stocks they will explode higher and trend higher strongly famous last words don't quote me on that but you know that's how we come out of bare legs at trading basis we always have to come out of them this way you know we, we it's real what i'm trying to say is don't try and invent this it's really obvious which stocks are, are up there holding holding up in then holding their trend though not rallying off 100 percent into into the distance you know there's a lot of stocks bounce vol volatile moves off the lows but that's got to translate at some point from from just a, a dead cat bounce into those stocks are structurally ready to trend and then they could trend trend from 100 to 400 to 1000 you know coming out of a bear market i expect to see some good trends come out of it and um so yeah you know there's a difference in 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 what we're looking for here we're looking for the stocks what i've got gas in the tank and are ready to trend and what i'm trying to get across is you can keep we keep turning the stones over but don't try you know they, they will show up on my end of day screens we already know what most of them are but it shouldn't be that hard that you have to go inventing these ideas you know if they're technically still beaten up well they're technically not ready either you know so just a, a little bit of um you know sobering thoughts on the uk market at the moment you know there's some good potential uh trends we're loaded in as a group especially we know what they are but the market is just really soggy at the moment and we're in this correction we're we, we're expecting this correction and uh you know let's see if the if if the corrections run its course this week and see if we start to to make a higher high on these moves that would just be fantastic wouldn't it but um yeah big rally this <laughs> i won't say that again <laughs> cheers all